there's going to be second icon after the sub 7 up. Something fairly special, an up in golf livery. It has a carbon. That's what I actually want. The M4? Trying not to wake up the guests from the hotel. Um, as you could have seen, Diana is still not awake. Or she's awake, but she's just uh, getting herself ready. I'm walking the wrong way because I usually walk to the sub seven up. But since the breakfasts are gone and the new ones will be coming next week, I have to take something else. I'm going to get breakfast for everyone. What I wanted to say is that since Diana is not. Uh, downstairs before me, which is quite exceptional, but there is something gonna happen which is even more exceptional And I'm not talking about driving the 218 to the gas station to get breakfast for everyone No, in fact Well, by the time this vlog gets released, I think everybody gonna know already by now, but today Robert's most highly likely gonna buy the legendary XX31 Team Sherman car, the fastest, as far as I know, the fastest um, E92 M3 around the Nevercring. So, there's going to be second icon after the sub 7 up at Apex, which is quite special, quite exciting. But uh, apart from that, all the cars are going out today, which is very good for business. Um, Hopefully not stressy, hopefully the track will stay open without any closures, without any big bad crashes like we had last week. But so far this introduction, let's go to ED, get breakfast for everyone and maybe do some car spotting, who knows? Good morning. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at the Volvo and the Fiat, what is it, the Punto? Hmm, I guess it's too early to do any car spotting and for some reason maybe all the cars did all the refilling yesterday because usually in the mornings there's a big queue to get gas at ED but for some reason again maybe everyone stayed in bed I don't know What's that? I don't know Happiness to... It's too early for to put the camera in my face face Okay. Yeah. On a Sunday. <laughs> but I brought your croissants. So everything is okay. And yes. We're friends again. We weren't. Or what? That's probably the best advertisement JRZ gonna get today from me. Uh, because up is undrivable and M2 is taking out the whole day. Look. <laughs> it also functions as a spoon. Yeah. JRZ got your back. Even off the track. Oh, wow. <laughs> Please don't put it in your mouth, but mm -hmm. also like this, sir. You'll have that. <laughs> That's okay. You're doing the back. Well, yeah, because I have sugar churns too. Sugar churns too? Sugar churns too. Mine's not branded. Oh, not. Uh, I'm gonna complain. I'm gonna bring it back to them. Hey, can you please brand your spoons, Jersey? Get your shit together, man. <laughs> okay, as you may remember, uh, last week, unfortunately, customer damaged the GT86, and although we could bring it to the paint shop, but since unfortunately, unfortunately, the car is uh, very popular, we would miss out the income, so we're just gonna do it at the end of the season. But for now, before anyone starts complaining that we not take care of our cars, we're gonna make sure that it will, well, become a bit better. Yeah. 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 Got the fast forward into uh, yeah closed. Fast forward into the green overflow car park, and I'm here to do some car spotting because the track is closed now due to an accident. Unfortunately, um, I'm with the cutie because the brake pads on the upper gun and all the cars are rented out. First part of 
car spotting. Look at this, a GTR, GT4 and a GT4. In the ticket office and a taxi car park, there is something rare, a 997 GT2, and then two cars next to it, Aerial Atom, also pretty uncommon. Look at the seats, if you can even call it seats. <laughs> RM2, and opposite of it, an up and go livery, but what I find more extraordinary, the OZ Superleggera wheels. At least I think those are Superleggera. I should better have a look if I can get those for me as well as an alternative, just in case. 595 RSR uh, Federal Semi Slicks. Hmm, looks serious. Looks serious. Hmm, a win game. That was pretty serious. Hmm. And on the opposite car park, this interesting Fiat 500, doesn't sound stuck to me, David's Type R, and next to it something fairly special, still nowadays, a NS6. I heard that they might produce an NS6R, and there has been a prototype spotted on the Nürburgring of this one, so people are speculating if there's going to be a more hardcore NS6 version of the well, 2017 NSX. Nice PPS game. And next to the up, forgot to mention it, the one of the icons of the Nürburgring, the Ring Mini. One of the cars that I still really want to go out with, probably as Boosted Boris on a passenger seat. I believe this one has a fully swapped Honda all-wheel drive drivetrain with turbo and such and such. So you can guess that this car can upset many, many supercars like this Porsche Turbo from Czech Republic. You can see it's a bit aftermarket, interesting wheels. Um, Czech Force um, something, 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 something. Not a fan of it, but I'm sure some of you can appreciate the styling. GT3, another GTR from France, and then here a 570S with some interesting mod ball stickers, and then here a TTRS that we've seen in previous vlogs with a nice picnic table, and uh, another TTRS, and then there something I've seen more often, but for some reason never had a chance to put it on the video for you guys, a GS6R with a side cart or however you can call it yep and as i am on my way back to the car i spot something um, yeah something very special is that a wrap looks like it well i know it's not good to touch someone else's car no it's 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 a full wrap so those are not independent stickers otherwise that would have been like really dedicated job nice folk racing t37s yep Perfect and endless brake pads. Ah, very special. Looks good. The cannon of the exhaust. It, it almost passes the fist test. Almost. Because the inside is a bit more narrow than the outside. So, yeah, it's kind of still virgin, I would say. So, the track is open again. All the traffic is coming alive. All the people are going on the track. Last bit of car spotting. Look at this cute Miata with wide fenders. And this Miata, well, Miata in general is pretty small, but when you put it next to this huge Unimog from Net, that becomes really small. And yeah, I guess Unimog is definitely worth car spotting. And especially when it's from Net, the company that keeps all the barriers of Nürburgring in optimal condition. I also bought my barrier from the Mini or the Misha Carousel from them. So huge shout out to them and huge shout out for the sense of humor by putting this BMW badge on the Mercedes Unimog. Let's see if they have any barriers. Yeah, they have the new ones. Hopefully they won't ever need to go out, but we all know that this is utopia. Okay, final car spotting bit for today. This GTT R34. Oh, look at that. The steering lock, that's so 90s. Well, at least for me it is. Reminds me of the 90s in the Russia. In the Russia. My English is really bad this morning. And back at the apex, and... <sighs> Actually, I came back to a surprise, because someone has dropped off 
like a week supply of AA drinks. Unfortunately, he didn't introduce himself or Diana just forgot his name, but we have a picture. Okay. Well, thanks to that dude, we have another week supply of AI drinks. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. And they're back. And now we can go for a lap. And since the app is out of operation for the next week, um, Freddy from Special Break said he can get a set of his own brake pads by Friday because uh, I have to wait three or four weeks for endless pads. That's just not gonna happen. So, yeah, and I kind of get in cold turkey. I really need to lap something. So in this case, it's gonna be the 218 because it's the only thing available at this point. And because it's fun. And Absolutely. Fun. Absolutely. It's... Definitely fun with all those semi slicks and new brakes. Ah, two yellows. Well, there goes the value for money. No, oh, poor thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I actually paid for it. Diana can confirm. She made an invoice. I made you pay. Yeah, so if people are gonna think like, ooh, it's like uh, having all those privileges. No, <laughs> like I also pay for the cars because I mean. They wear out the tires, they wear out the brake pads, and such and such, so we kind of keep it uh, honest. Well, actually, since we're gonna have two yellows and we need to take it easy, uh, I should correct myself, we're gonna have more value for money because we're gonna spend more time on the track. So that's kind of good, I guess. Oh well. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I forgot to put the car in the sport mode. That's oh no, uh, that's why we're driving so slow. Yeah. So we are back, we got ourselves some sandwiches as well, and there is the Formal, the XX31, which now runs a new license plate because the Formal uh, owner, Klaus, you see them uh, quite often, we did the M2 lap earlier this year, and obviously last year did the lap in that car, the XX31, he sold it to this guy, and this guy, Busty, will probably sold it to this guy who's wearing already a matching, <laughs> matching jacket. Yeah. Well, here she is. Um, I would expect that most of my audience already know this car because one of my most popular videos of which the Boris involves this car. Actually, the ad of selling this car uh, has the Boost the Boris video in the description, which was quite fun. Yeah, the typical Shimmer, uh, like Sam Tate said, the bunny uh, box, so you can keep two bunnies in there, or your helmets. Interior, very, very nice, Alcantara, carbon fiber, carbon fiber seats, but what I want to show to you guys, and hopefully, well, I'm gonna make a separate video, because when we made a video of with the Boris uh, doing a passenger lap in this car, we didn't show the what's happening under the hood it has a carbon air box but when you actually drive this car it makes a bit of a whistle it's probably the gearbox or whatever but a lot of smart asses said no way it's 500 horsepower natural aspirated how can it be just as fast as a 991 gt3 rs and be this fast blah 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 it must be supercharged and why is there such a big intercooler this is not an intercooler this is an oil cooler so uh yeah, there is that. The car is just 500 horsepower, 4.4 stroker engine, naturally aspirated. Machtschnell. Porn-tastic. Porn-tastic horsepower. Yeah. This is really all eingetragen. From motor, over Fahrwerk, over Felgen, all this. Everything. Now it's time to do a small test drive. And luckily there's like, I heard there's some kind of a test track in our backyard. Is there? Yeah. Go Called it. Nuremberg Schleifen Ring or something. I obviously already know what the car is capable of, but I'm mostly interested in hearing this man's opinion after the lap. Usually doing two 
seventh team. Well, since it's yellow flag, what do you think of the car so far? Well, I like it so far, but it's, there's just so much traffic that you can't, you, know, you can't feel it. Anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. car still has plenty of horsepower so now we're gonna look for some cow powers I thought I didn't have any bad jokes for today so no the reality is we are going to team Shermer just to have some final checkups on the cars getting some advice getting some oil and such and such the car has won the six hour race yesterday in class That's what I actually want. The M4? Yeah. Well, you can't wait two or three years. <laughs> so Carl, Tim Sherman is the main mechanic and main builder of the cars. So is giving Robert some explanation about the cars. And while he's doing that, let's, let's have a look at other crazy, batshit crazy creations. The M4 with which my friend Moran yesterday won the six hour race in class and um, I believe he was like 10th overall so like he was running well 10th overall and you've seen it there have been GT3 cars and cup cars Porsche cup cars and this car is really bad shit crazy and the best thing about it it's nearly street legal it is street legal but at this point it's not registered but it can be possible it can be done easily you can probably see maybe through here if the camera is good enough that this everything is carbon fiber uh, maybe maybe you can barely see it yeah well anyway lots of carbon fiber I really like this CNC machined uh, spoiler foot great great the brakes all the aero elements uh, roughly 600 horsepower uh, for the race it's obviously less because you have the balance of performance it has to be less the sound that the car makes is just simply amazing the interior maybe we can well have a look maybe one day we can do passenger lap that would be especially amazing and then lots of goodies inside I always respect Team Shermer's privacy, especially of those of the customers. So uh, one day we might gonna get a private tour. The M2, which is similar spec as the M4, another batshit crazy car. Another Shermer GT V8 E92, pretty much similar to the 31 that we have bought. And then over there, the XX29 of my friend Patrick, which has a supercharger, 700 horsepower. But unfortunately, I think Patrick is too busy this year to come and drive this car. So, who knows? And then a lot of other secret, secret and cool things. Lots of cups because, yeah, those cars kick ass. And I cannot wait till I can do a lap with it either. And back at Apex, all the cars are back and in one piece. The M4 getting parked on its spots. Uh, because now we have the problem that we have too many cars and too few parking spaces Small update in case you've noticed. I really hurt my neck. I uh, slept a bit bad probably two nights before and Today it's gotten very 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 bad after my lap with the 218. So that's something I should have not done So now I'll be walking like that for the next couple of days until it fixes itself well new addition to the Apex Fleet, although I shouldn't call it Apex Fleet because it's well, it's Apex Fleet, but not a rental fleet. Because again, this will not be a rental car. The car is a bit too iconic, too valuable, probably to rent out. Um, mm -hmm, some people might disagree, but I definitely won't. It will be just again too, too much of a shame that, uh, well, we're gonna have an E90 M3, the one that we spoke quite often about not sure if you've seen it um you may have seen it but if not of course you've seen it it's daniel's old, old car and if you haven't you should watch some last year's vlog what's up so what do you think you did you done more laps now yeah, with the car three more pretty happy with it yeah, yeah. good well it would have been strange if you would buy a car which I didn't make it yeah <laughs> no, i'm really happy with that. i'm excited to start pushing on a little bit they were all today i did five laps they were all just nice and easy and just cruising the car a little bit yeah. yeah, I'm definitely excited to push on it a bit and see what we can get out of it. 
so I guess now it's time for food chat or something. Definitely time for a food chat, I haven't eaten yet today. Warm start. And today's food shot is brought to you by Steakhouse Paddock. Just about 200 meters away from Apex and the castle and Diana with carrying a box. Because we use it to bring all the burgers when Shmi was over. Sup? How are you doing? About to have some breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm. Enjoy. And you. Mm. <laughs> Good choice. Mm. As if we didn't have enough burgers last time <laughs> from here. But they're good. They're very good. Oh, that's a very clean engine bay as well. Yeah.